take your seats as we are about to begin the program. I am Dr. Dunarkar, visiting pathologist, Physics Institute, and we will be steering you today through the day's proceedings. Today is 6th September. It is the birthday of our founder, Pujya Sri Anuben Thakkar, way back in 1944. So today is her 74th birth anniversary. On this auspicious day, we are gathered to mark a major milestone in the history of KCHR, and that is Gujarat's first medical cyclotron will be inaugurated today under the auspices of our venerable guest and in the presence of you all, the ever inspirational members of this establishment. I request Dr. Rajesh Kantharia, Medical Director of KCHRC, to welcome you all. Good morning, all. May I take this opportunity to welcome all the dignitaries on the stage and to extend a further word of welcome to all our invited guests and the MSC family members here this morning. 6 September, Pujya Anuben Thakkar's birth anniversary and the inauguration of our cyclotron facility is certainly a moment that we all should relish. It all started as a dream, dream of establishing a high energy cyclotron facility, the first of its kind in Gujarat and central India, and the first setup ever in a rural you know, area, which is capable of producing new isotopes, radio isotopes, for early diagnosis, faster treatment of cancer, and some non-cancer diseases at a much lower cost. You all are most welcome to stay here with us this afternoon and I hope you enjoy the rest of the program and I thank you all for sharing this special event with us. Thank you once again for coming. Every big step forward begins by invoking the Almighty. I request our nursing staff, Sunita Ben Bhatt, to come on the stage and render a prayer. Hey, 
साधु मने भारी डोलाई जाते साधु मने भारी डोलाई जाते मारु मातूरे तापी ने present a shawl to Mr. Peter Heigebert. Dr. Arun Gandhi will present the shawl to Sri Rakesh Pathak. <laughs> Dr. Rajesh Kantharia is requested to present the shawl to Dr. Soma Sundaram. I'm sure all of us are eager to hear about this cyclotone project and 
would like to hear our distinguished distinguished guest to speak on this topic. Mr. Rakesh Pathak will provide an overview of this project. Mr. Pathak is a civil engineer from Mumbai and in many ways he is a pioneer in establishing private commercial isotope distribution centers in India. He is at present the country manager and director of IBA India and all the business verticals of IBA year and he is also looking after the Tata Memorial Center Proton Therapy Project. Mr. Rakesh Pathak, please. Jai Shri Krishna, loudly, three times. Yeah, if you want me to speak, Jai Shri Krishna, bolna padega. Okay. Uh, I will talk in Hindi. I Hindi me baat karunga because English me baat karne ke liye yahan pe kuch log hai. So, thoda bhot overview dunga ki how we have reached here, kaha aise yahan kaise pahunche ham, kitna time laga iske liye, aur ye cyclotron kyun unique hai aur ham yahan pe kya kar sakte hain isse. Uh, before I get into uh, the details here, I must really appreciate the technical competency of all the doctors and the staff at the ashram and I congratulate them to choose such a high-end machine for, uh, for the ashram. Now, uh, we will go on the next slide. Ye, uh, this was when we did the Bhumi Pujan. When we did the Bhumi Pujan, we did the Bhumi Pujan. Now, please help me. It doesn't move. But I can also use this, huh, by the way. Can I go with this? So, uh, with all the prayers to Mataji, I will tell you. So this is, of course, this is Gujarat's first cyclotron and uh, in, in the western region, this is the high power machine. When I say western region, this is the Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, in fact even Maharashtra. In Maharashtra, there are two machines, but this is a very powerful 18 MEV machine. The rest of it is a 16 MEV machine. And what can we do with this? We will tell you later, but this is the same thing. ये जब हमने ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग सेरेमनी किया हुआ था ये तब की तस्वीरें हैं और दिस इज हाउ द सेंटर एक्चुअली लुक्स लाइक आपका सेंटर एकदम ऐसे ही दिखता है व्हाट एक्साइट्स मी जो मुझे यहां पे सबसे बढ़िया चीज लगता है इंडिया में साइक्लोट्रोन्स है ऐसे नहीं कि इंडिया में साइक्लोट्रोन्स नहीं है पर जो आइसोटोप हम बनाते हैं वो एक एफडीजी नाम का एक आइसोटोप है और वो बड़ा कमर्शियली सब लोग वही बनाते हैं आश्रम में मुझे पूरा यकीन है कि हम शॉर्ट लाइफ आइसोटोप्स बनाएंगे जैसे फ्लोरीन कार्बन नाइट्रोजन और इनका उपयोग ब्रेन्स और बहुत सारे जगह में होता है और इनकी हाफ लाइफ बहुत कम है तो ये नॉर्मली कोई बनाना नहीं चाहता है ये टोटली कमर्शियल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इसके ऊपर कोई ज्यादा काम नहीं करता पर यह बहुत जरूरी है फॉर द मैन और विक्रम भाई ने मुझे यही कन्विंस किया था कि उनको यही करना है और इसीलिए वो इतना हाई पावर मशीन ले रहे हैं सो आई वुड से दैट देर इज अ बिग राउंड ऑफ यू नो अप्लॉज फॉर विक्रम भाई टू चूज सच एंड टू थिंक अबाउट गोइंग फॉर समथिंग लाइक दैट आप नीचे देखेंगे कि बहुत सारा नया रेडियो आइसोटोफ जो इस पर डेवलप हो सकता है तो ये साइक्लोट्रोन से हम यूनिवर्सिटी के बच्चों को भी एंगेज कर सकते हैं रिसर्च करने के लिए नए नए आइसोटोफ प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए 
और आई मशीन के अंदर एक जो खास बात यह है कि ऐसे रिसर्च करने के लिए जो आपको एक्सपेंसिस होते हैं वो हमारे मशीन पे बड़ा कम लगता है गोइंग फॉरवर्ड ये मशीन इसके अंदर हम बहुत सारे चीज कर सकते हैं साथ में बहुत सारे काम कर सकते हैं इसमें बहुत सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं, इसके आउटपुट बहुत हैं और इसमें सबसे कम थी एक्सपोजर है एक्सपोजर यानी जो रेडिएशन की हिट लगती है वो सबसे कम है सबसे कम थी पावर लेता है सबसे कम थी स्पेस है सबसे कम थी कंज्यूमेबल्स भी लगता है इसका और ये बहुत ही एनवायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली है तो ऑन दैट लाइन्स वी आर अलाइंड एब्सोलूटली विद द आश्रम ये बहुत ही एनवायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली इक्विपमेंट है ये पूरा टीम है आईबीए का जो आप लोगों के साथ बहुत बहुत लगाव रखता है आ, सब आना चाहते थे सब आ नहीं पाए इसके लिए द प्रेसिडेंट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग देम दिस इज ऑल आवर टीम बैक इन बेल्जियम इनमें से कुछ लोग यहां ऑलरेडी आके कुछ समय बिता चुके हैं और आपके पूरे स्टाफ को हमारे तरफ से थैंक यू है आपके पूरे वॉलेंटियर्स को हमारे तरफ से थैंक यू है आपके सारे डोनर्स को थैंक यू है और मुनिसेवा आश्रम के सारे विल विशर्स के लिए बहुत बहुत बड़ा थैंक यू है ये सब्जेक्ट थोड़ा ज्यादा टेक्निकल है लेकिन फिर भी आ, मैंने कोशिश किया मैं आपको जितना बता दूं आई हम जयंती जी का इंतजार कर रहे हैं पीटर हुकबर्ट हु इज द काउंसिल जनरल हैज बीन काइंड इनफ टू टेक आउट टाइम ही इज ही ऑफकोर्स बिजी बट ही ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू बी एट द आश्रम उनका आश्रम के साथ लगाव ऐसा था कि उन्होंने मुझे बोल के रखा था कि चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए अगर जैसे भी आना पड़े मैं यहां पर आऊंगा और आई एम ग्लैड दैट ही इज हियर थैंक यू पीटर फॉर कमिंग और कुछ लोग और आने वाले हैं जिनका सुब्रमण्यम साहब तो यहां है सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सुब्रमण्यम जी टू कम हियर एंड बी विदास एंड एम आर टिमरमैन इज नॉट वेल सो बट वी वी कैन ऑलवेज एंड पुरोनो ऑफकोर्स इज कम फ्रॉम बेल्जियम बीच में मैं एक फोटो आपको दिखाऊंगा ये यहां पे दीपक गढ़िया जी दिख रहे हैं हमारे और साथ में ये जो नाम आपको दिख रहा है इव जोंगन इन्होंने पहला कमर्शियल साइक्लोट्रोन बनाया था जो साइक्लोट्रोन बना के बेस जो मतलब जो लोगों के लिए यूज हो सकता है कमर्शियली अदरवाइज इट वाज अ रिसर्च इक्विपमेंट मोस्टली ये यूनिवर्सिटीज में रिसर्च में होता था तो इसको कमर्शलाइज करने के लिए इसको छोटा बनाना इसको लॉजिस्टिकली सही बनाना ये काम इन्होंने किया ये फाउंडर है आई के फेडरिक नॉल्व यहां आ चुके हैं वो भी चीफ सस्टेनेबिलिटी एनएचआर ऑफिसर हैं, दीपक गढ़िया जी हैं मैं तो हूं ही और फेडरिक जडोसी नीलेष पटेल और विक्रम भाई ये तीन लोग हैं जिनके वजह से ये चीज पॉसिबल हो पाया हम तो सिर्फ बात कर रहे हैं आके ये ये तीन लोग हैं और हमारा इनको पूरा सपोर्ट रहेगा चाहे जैसा भी हो आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट वंस अगेन फॉर एवरीबडी हु इज इन्वॉल्व विद द आश्रम टू हैव सच अ फंटेस्टिक मशीन मेरे पास एक वीडियो था पर वो मैं अभी नहीं दिखाऊंगा आपको शायद बाद में दिखाऊंगा क्योंकि वो इस पर चल नहीं रहा है कि ये काम कैसे करता है कि ये है क्या साइक्रोट्रोन ये हम जब ये खत्म हो जाएगा तो शायद राजेश भाई या किस कोई आपको ये दिखाएगा मैंने पूरा कोशिश किया मैंने आज पहली बार हिंदी में एक मतलब प्रोफेशनल स्पीच देने की कोशिश की नॉर्मली हम लोगों को थोड़ा इंग्लिश बोलने के लिए आदत हो गया है बट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिसनिंग एंड वंस अगेन जय श्री कृष्णा थैंक यू वेरी मच Shukriya Rakesh ji I now invite Mr Peter Hagebert he is the consul general of Belgium and is in India since August 2015 He is a postgraduate in political science and international relations and he has held several prominent assignments abroad for his country Mr Peter Hagebert please Hello. Allow me to start by paying my respects to the late Anupam Thakkar. Thank you for all you did for this community. It's a great accomplishment. Shri Ganesh Das Ji Maharaj, Dr. Jayanti Ravi, distinguished other guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure for me to be here at the inauguration of the cyclotron facility at the 
Muni Seva Ashram, the first of its kind in Gujarat. Today is an opportunity for us to pay tribute to all those who contributed to making this project a reality. Now I've been asked to say a few things about a topic that I'm not very much acquainted with. So Rakesh, you gave me a little bit of homework. I did know a little bit about nuclear stuff, I would say, because some 10 years ago, I covered a working group at the European Union which was called Atomic Questions. Uh, atomic Questions. It mainly dealt with nuclear safety and security and I think it's also the perception is what we have when we hear nuclear. Nuclear bombs, uh, nuclear warfare, but there are also peaceful um, usages of, uh, of nuclear development, nuclear research. Um, and I'm also very proud that Belgium is a front runner in that, in that regard. Um, in the north of the country, for instance, we have the SKC, with, where there's a nuclear research center. <coughs> in the south of the country, we have the IRE, the Institute for um, hang on, radio, radio Elements. Um, and we also have, and that's important, companies that make products and medical devices, like IBA. It is this interaction, I think, between uh, the academic sector, the corporate sector, because IBA is a spin-off of the University of Louvain-la-Neuve, as I have learned. I think it's very important that we look at it as, a, as a, an integrated whole, which brings about innovation. It's government, it's academics, and it's the corporate sector. And I think Belgium is, has achieved quite a lot in, in, in that regard. Um, so IBA stands for Iron Beam Applications. Yes, that's what I learned. Very, a very good name, name because they are dealing with proton therapy, which uses a cyclotron, and it speeds up iron, ions to target particular tumor cells. Is that a good, a, a good definition? I'm looking at Bruno, he says yes. So the fantastic thing about it is it targets the tumor cells, but it doesn't damage the healthy cells around. And that is so fantastic about proton therapy. Uh, but first we need to start with a diagnosis and the cyclotron that we are an inaugurating today uh, is making that diagnosis. Um, and then I have a tagline for you, Rakesh. If you want to promote IBA in India, I would suggest that you sell it as IBA stops the achahe. <laughs> and it rhymes. So yeah, the Belgian company IBA has built a reputation and expertise to the delivery of next generation proton therapy, as I said, and state of the art technology, of which we can find now one here in a rural area in India, and that is quite an achievement. Congratulations also to the Muniseva Ashram. Um, I think I will stop there and felicitate the Muniseva Ashram because it's, it is active in a whole uh, range of fields, healthcare, education, sustainable de development. Uh, I wish you all the best and uh, I wish both uh, good luck for future endeavors and a fruitful collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Heigerbert. May I request Mr. Bruno Skatner? He is the president, IBA Radio Pharma Solutions. A, me a mechanical engineer by qualification, Mr. Skatner has been working with IBA for more than last 15 years and has been a member of the management and leadership team for over seven years. He has overseen hundreds of IBA cyclotrons being, ex uh, being installed all over the world. His knowledge about the global cyclotron business is immense and is widely respected for the understanding of the radio pharmaceutical market. Mr. Bruno Skutner.
Hello, hello. Thank you for uh, inviting me here. Um, I will a little bit speak about IBA, also about Cyclotron, but um, let me start with a, a small story. You see this uh, small baby, her name is Anael, and um, Anael uh, is a small baby in Belgium, and the doctor took a blood sample, and uh, in the blood sample, it has been found oh, we cannot see that, that the TSH level was too high. So she went for a, uh, an examination with iodine 123. It's slightly radioactive. And uh, the doctor can detect that she has no thyroid. The thyroid is here. You see the, the picture, the gentleman there. You see on the picture he has a thyroid because you see accumulation of iodine. So, with this examination, we could treat this small baby, and uh, it's rather good news for me because it's my daughter. So, you see, I'm deeply involved in the, the right diagnosis to apply the right treatment. Uh, for her, it was not a big problem because when you have no thyroid uh, during the pregnancy, you are covered by the mom the mother, and uh, after that she has to take a pill once a day and everything is going fine. So imagine without this examination today she would have been handicapped, uh, that could happen, but there by detecting that from the beginning, uh, my daughter is today 22 years old, uh, yeah, <laughs> because I have four daughters, the only one without thyroid. And why I'm telling you a little bit about my daughter, my life, it's because when I found out that uh, the iodine-123 is produced by IBA cyclotron, we call a, a 30 MeV cyclotron, I was really surprised and really happy to work in this company because this is the first machine developed by IBA, is the 30 MeV. And then we supply them in several places. The, the good news here, you have uh, what we call an 18 MeV, but it's also possible to produce iodine-123 on this cyclotron. Uh, lower yield, but it's, it's enough to make some uh, SPECT examination. So IBA, it's not only diagnostic, uh, it's you see proton therapy, dosimetry, and some machine to st make sterilization. I won't spend too much time about that, it's just to tell you that IBA is quite stable, we have four business lines, four pillars, but if you are here today, uh, it's because there is one main compound called FDG, and you see on the, the picture, uh, when you inject FDG with a PET-CT, you can see the metastasis. I know it's a little bit sad, but you know I like a nice story, like with my daughter, when you see that, then you know what you have to do and you can make chemotherapy and with FDG again, you can see that the chemotherapy has been effective. So the, the cancer is treated. And that's really important to see that with such a simple examination, with a small dose of uh, radioactive uh, stuff. And uh, cancer is everywhere. And here it's a comparison between Europe, US and India. And you see that, oops, sorry. And, and you see that the, the number of cases for PET examination is the same as in Europe. Uh, and that's why I wanted to show these numbers simply to show you that to have more cyclotron in India, to have more examination is really important because then you can diagnose uh, earlier and you can apply the right treatment and I know it's on the way there are several centers and this is really important here to have this tool to make the right diagnosis when you have a cyclotron you need a lot of equipment synthesis module quality control everything here in the center and also a, a pet city why I mentioned that because uh, you have in this center uh, the right cyclotron, but then you have also what we call synthesis module is to produce the tracer, the, the, 
the um, tracer is something you inject to detect cancer. There is not only FDG, you see all the number of compounds that is possible to produce from the same cyclotron by using different cassettes on this. And for example, in blue, the F18 PSMA is to detect prostate cancer with very high precision. And that's also will be possible here. At IBA, we are used to, to share the expertise between all the users in the world. So there are more than 150 centers using the same cyclotron. And uh, they every two years, they are used to meet together to exchange between them the expertise uh, about what they are doing, uh, why they do it this way, another way. And uh, it's really appreciated because that's the way uh, at IBRPS, we see the relationship. We, we want you to exchange with us what is going well, what is going wrong, how we can improve all the time, and it's a kind of uh, big family. And as Rakesh mentioned, we already start some uh, exchange uh, with the ashram. Frederic came here on the left. Gwendoline Fabienne also, she were there at the opening ceremony. Myself, I have been several times in India. It's my first time here, but I already sent my daughter two months ago. Uh, she is there on the right. Thank you, Deepak, for welcoming her. She spent two wonderful weeks here. And I know a lot of other people at IBA who wants to come here. Uh, really, you cannot imagine when we have a presentation like this one, I always mention this project. And Deepak came once to make a presentation to all the management team, 100 managers were there, uh, because we are really impressed by all the things you are doing here, uh, including the use of solar panel for a lot of things. And uh, the people want to come here to, to escape a little bit of the life in Europe where it's stressful and so on, and here it's quite peaceful. So thank you to have this uh, place here. And um, voila, the thank you is here. And I leave the floor to Gwendolyn. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Skatner. We have an old friend with us, Dr. Soma Sundaram, founder and CEO, Eurasian Federation of Oncology and e EFO. I request him to say a few words. Dear friends, dignitaries, Vikram Bhai, Rajesh Kantarya Maharaj, the Consul General, Dr. Ulas and many others whom I met for the first time today. Uh, it is indeed a great honor for me uh, to be present here for a few hours today uh, in my Asian, I would say, tour. Uh, and uh, this is not the first trip uh, of mine to Guraj. And I've been a great admirer, I would say, of this institution because this institution, in just a few years since I've been visiting here, has been growing, growing, and growing, and now uh, has already formed a research base which is unique for the Eurasian continent. And uh, I'm really very glad to be present here at the launch of this cyclotron facility. And I would like to say a few words which uh, not many of us might have even thought of. You know, I come from Russia. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cancer surgeon and a cancer survivor, an indirect victim of Chernobyl meltdown, and uh, uh, a philanthropist. And I would say that India and Russia being two nuclear powers, unfortunately have not done enough in terms of atom for peace, in terms of access of nuclear medicine to the common man unlike the United, Na United States and the Western European nations. So today what the Kailash Cancer Center has shown us, is showing us uh, with this new cyclotron facility 
in a, as a rural facility, which is something unique for the whole world in my understanding. Uh, India as a nation has come at least one step forward closer to our people because all these facilities are mostly, uh, we were just talking about this, they are mostly in big cities and uh, here it is in a rural setup and it is truly in a truly not-for-profit organization and that is how we bring technology to the common man such that the best of the best is available in we, we are indeed a superpower. I represent two great superpowers, Russia and in India. And I often say, in terms of two things, our nations are not doing good. One is access to nuclear technology for people. And another is, unfortunately, not allowing our people to die with dignity. We do have problem of pain management, which is not a part, maybe direct question here, but once again, nuclear medicine also plays a major role in pain management. So I'm uh, really very honored uh, to be uh, directly or indirectly associated with these organizations through various educational programs which with Dr. Uh, Rajesh Kantarya, with Dr. Ajay Junarkar and many others from Guraj that we initiated. They joined us a few years ago in Russia in doing our educational programs and we are doing many many more of them and uh, I'm sure Guraj is very soon going to become another base for Eurasian Federation of Oncology and also for the Eurasian Cancer Research Council. Dr. Ulas is here who is the CEO of the Eurasian Cancer Research Council which is based in Mumbai and Guraj is going to be one of our main partners in cancer research uh, in terms of doing collaborative cancer research which is not enough because we are all following the western data in from Western Europe and from US and Canada, but we are not generating enough data with the enormous patient numbers we have. And that is where, once again, Guraj is going to make a great difference in being a key partner of the Eurasian Cancer Research Council. And uh, uh, I'm sure that many of you here in this auditorium will be part of those projects. And I would like to thank Dr. Shahina, who is taking the lead here in terms of uh, cancer research and uh, our teams across the continent in now eight countries of the Eurasian continent in Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Hungary, China, India and Abkhazia. We are all together with you to take cancer research forward. Thank you very much for inviting me here and uh, I can't uh, you know, list everybody whom I should thank in this institution so excuse me for that. And uh, I'll have to take leave in an hour from now, but uh, I'm sure now, from now onwards, it'll not, it'll not be once a year visit, it'll be much more often, not only from my side, but from representatives from our organizations from different countries on a regular basis. What I want to achieve within the next 6 to 12 months is, at any given time, someone from our organizations, from our projects should be always here at Guraj and uh, it is in the hands of Rajesh, Ulas and Shahina. Thank you very much. Our chief guest today is on our way here. She should be arriving shortly, Dr. Jayanti Ravi. We have with us today Professor B. Narayan Karkera. He was a BARC scientist and is a fellow of the Institute of Engineers India and a fellow of the International Atomic Energy Agency. He has achieved the Lifetime Achievement Award from NITK Suratkal. May I request him to give his brief presentation here. Namaskar. Pujan hi Anubhen aur Swami ji ke special namaskar hai. Mai ho 
अनुशक्ति नगर से अनुबेन और अनुशक्ति नगर सुनने में अच्छा लगता है अभी ये साइक्लोट्रॉन का फैसिलिटी इधर आई विल टाइप सुचो टू इंग्लिश इन कपल ऑफ मिनट्स सर एट बस इंग्लिश थैंक यू सो you can see the pointer in your screen this is a special s s shaped entry path to the radiation vault we call as maze so unique in the world there a lot of benefit it can save as today's date nearly rupees 1 crore rupee plus convenient to entrance also This is the second unit in the world. First is in uh, BRC in the premises of Tata Memorial Hospital, Parel, Bombay. Second is here, and I am trying to donate it, or rather, I already donated it to Munisev Ashram. And today we hope, with the help of, uh, I sir, your name is difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Sorry for that. Bruno Kut Kutner. Thank you, sir. We are trying to do the world release. with your participation particular after listening about your story about with your daughter i think you have lifetime commitment and you are the correct, correct person to take us to the world we will talk more about it in person next one please This is the safety interlock. We adopted it in uh, previous uh, setup in Parel. We are in, in tuned to do the same thing, similar thing, better thing at Munisev Ashram also. Here the feature is even if one person want to hurt himself, harm himself, kill himself, he cannot do it here. He can go to the terrace or to the road, but not in our facility. It's so safe. So. lot of things are there so this interlock is not just electronics is not just a logic it is the philosophy when you go to the philosophy the whole thing changes we'll discuss and this interlock also we wish to discuss with you so that your customers will feel more happy about it sir next one This is a hadron uh, facility, sir. I am particularly addressed to you along with the audience. That's why I am in switching to English. This concept I had uh, given to attract that is Tata Memorial Centre's unit in uh, New Bombay in a 10-acre land with the multiple facilities. In addition to therapy, it has got the research facility also. The beauty is it can handle. close to 1000 patients per day and parallelly 32 patients are being treated around the cyclotron there are 32 ports to exiting the beam is switching port after port along the circle in the radius there are 32 cabins are there with the patients and there there is no couches no couch to sleep this is important point you to note the couch is in the form of a dental chair like thing it can swell around itself and also can tilt specially and horizontal beam is coming from the cyclotron will be targeted to the uh, 
tumor contact either parallelly or inclined way, which other way, by tilting of the chair only. Very interesting. And, uh, and there is no huge gantry. It is a horizontal typical psychotron of your type one, your design only. You could do handshake on that. You could do wonders. And number of psychotron sold will be less because it is treating 1,000 patients per day typically. What does it mean? The cost of the uh, treatment per patient fact nearly one-tenth. So it is affordable to Indian population. And it is not cutting the margin of you, the designer, the manufacturers. Very interesting concept. And uh, to the public, a head-on facility, a proton beam ka agla issa hai. Proton beam a single proton aake hamara bazan mein chubega. E to group of protons. Che proton, art proton, saath mein aake a jata hai. Raste mein, wo apna body muscle ko chuta nahi hai. Jab wo tumor pounch jata hai, करेक्ट एनर्जी चूज करके उधर वो वर्चुअली एक्सप्लोड होता है जैसे बॉम्ब तो ट्यूमर को उधर का उधर ही मार देता है वो उसके लिए खाली एक सेकंड दो सेकंड का बीम चाहिए वो बीम अभी पेशेंट को निकालने में नायप लाने में करीबन आधा घंटा एक घंटा लगता है तो वो नहीं करते हम लोग वो 32 रूम है ऑल अराउंड बीम एक रूम के बाद एक रूम स्विच होता जाता है इसीलिए हमें ज्यादा पेशेंट कर सकते हैं हम लोग कॉस्ट पर पेशेंट कम हो सकता है बहुत कम हो सकता है uh, sir, I hope if necessary we can discuss separately on that. We wish Munise Ashram being pioneering in uh, innovation, invention. It is also in tune with their philosophy. I think we, can, we have already come to here. You have a family history also. You have a personal agenda also. We can take it forward to the extent possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. The success of this project, of course, depends on the technological and the logistic inputs, but would be incomplete without blessings from our Swamiji. We have today with us Sri Ganesh Dasji Maharaj of Sri Santram Mandir Umret. May I request him to confer blessings on the audience? Moksarte be Savia Padar Vindam Chitendrium Sestukla Lemja, Viveko Iraki Samadi Octavan Desmasigur Centram Kailas Cancer Hospital and Research Center Na Cyclone Stone Machina Lokarpan Prasangi Opastit Honorable Chief Guest. Biljam na general counselor Upasthit State upar na Saumanubhav Dr. Vikrambhai Asaustana Vibhago ma dhan apna sudhatao Upasthit murabhiyo Bhaiyo peno na matao एक सूफी कथा वाची रहो तो बच्चे ये सूफी कथा नहीं अंदर एक नानी दिकरी एक पहाड़ ऊपर थी बिजा पहाड़ ऊपर है ना जो तो इन्हें आत्मा एक नानी लाल टेना थी ये जम जम आकर जती जाए मैं मजोरु वत्तु जाए ना ये धीरे धीरे ना पगला भरती थी लेक संत है ना मढ़े आए पहाड़ ऊपर है ना संत है पूछो बेटा क्या जाऊँ छो तेरे दिक्री है वो कहियो कि हमारे सामने ना पहाड़ ऊपर जाऊँ छे तो के बेटा उन्हों अजवारों जो तने एक फुट थी बधारे पड़तू ना थी तेरे दिक्री है बहुत सरस जवाब आप यो क्यों जेम जेम एक एक पगलू भरती जाई बेन अनुबेने एक-एक डगलू सेवानु भरता गया अना मुख्य सेवाना केंद्रों पर पहुंचता गया तरत कोई पहुंची सक दोनों थी धीरे-धीरे सेवाना मार्ग ऊपर ऐना चढ़वा अनु होइ छे 
અને ચડતા ચડતા ઘણી વાર પડી પણ જવાય પણ પાછું કોક એવા સંતો મળે કોક એવા આશીર્વાદ મળે કે જેથી કરીને પાછા આપણો હાથ પકડીને એ આપણને બીજી સેવા તરફ ફેરી જતા હોય છે એવું જ એક સંતરામ મંદિર નડિયાદ એના પૂજ્ય નારાયણદાસજી મહારાજ એમણે પૂજ્ય અનુબેન સાથેનો એક દીકરીનો નાતો એક બાપનો નાતો અને એને લઈ નાખી સંસ્થાને પૂજ્ય મહારાજના જે આશીર્વાદ પ્રાપ્ત થયા પણ હું ઘણી વાર કહેતો હોઉં છું કે કદાચ મંદિર આપણું ભવ્ય હોઈ શકે તો એનાથી આપણો વિકાસ દેખાતો નથી પણ જેની શિક્ષણ ક્ષેત્ર ભવ્ય હોય જેનું આરોગ્ય ક્ષેત્ર ભવ્ય હોય એનાથી જ આપણા દેશનો વિકાસ દેખાઈ શકે છે મંદિરો તો મોટા બની શકે છે મંદિરોનો બહુ સવાલ નથી પણ શિક્ષણ અને આરોગ્યના જે ક્ષેત્રો છે એ ભવ્ય બને દિવ્ય બને અને એની અંદર સારા ડોક્ટરશ્રીઓ પ્રાપ્ત થઈ શકે આજે ઘણી બધી સંસ્થાઓ ડોક્ટર વિક્રમભાઈએ ઉભી કરી અહીંયા ગાડી બેન અનુબેનના આશીર્વાદથી મુનિ મહારાજના આશીર્વાદથી પણ એને ચલાવવા માટે હું ઘણી વાર કહું સારી સંસ્થાઓ ઊભી થઈ શકે છે સારા સંચાલકો મળવા બહુ મુશ્કેલ છે કે જે નીતિમત્તાથી અને પ્રમાણિકતાથી એ સંસ્થાને ચલાવી શકે પ્રમાણિકતાની બહુ જરૂર છે નીતિની બહુ જરૂર છે સત્યતાની બહુ જરૂર છે અને તો જ આવી સંસ્થાઓ એ પોતાના પગ ઉપર ઊભી રહીને એ આગળના આગળ કામ કરી શકે છે અને હું તો ઘણી વાર કહું કે એક અકેલા થક જાયેગા મિલકર બોજ ઉઠાના સાથી હાથ વડાના એટલે હું ઘણી વાર કહું કે એકલાથી નહીં થઈ શકે એની અંદર દાતાઓ જે દાન આપ્યું છે ભાઈ નિલેશભાઈ જેવા ઘણા બધા દાતાઓ છે કે જેમણે એ દાન આપ્યું છે અને દાન આપીને આ સંસ્થાને ઊભી કરી છે એની અંદર આ જે મશીન છે હું પૂછતો હતો કે આ મશીન એટલે કેવું છે કારણ કે અમારો તો આ વિષય જ નથી પણ છતાંય જ્યારે એક ફંક્શનમાં જઈ રહ્યા છે તો મશીન કામ શું કરે બહુ સરસ કહ્યું કે મુંબઈ થી એની દવા અહીં આગળ લાવવામાં આવતી એના પછી સમસ્ત ગુજરાતમાં દવાઓ પહોંચતી પણ હવે જે બહારથી દવાઓ લાવવામાં આવતી એ દવા આ મશીન બનાવશે અને અહીંથી ત્વરિત પેશન્ટને દવા પ્રાપ્ત થશે એના માટેનું મશીન દસ થી પંદર કરોડ રૂપિયાનો મશીન આપણને પ્રાપ્ત થયું છે એની એની જવાબદારી છે કે જ્યાં જ્યાં કેન્સર વ્યાપ્ત થયું હોય આપણા શરીરની અંદર ત્યાં એ દવા પહોંચી જાય અને ત્યાં આપણને ખબર પડી જાય કે આટલી આટલી જગ્યાએ તે કેન્સરના કણો છે એ મશીન આ કામ કરી રહ્યું છે એટલે હું ઘણી વાર વિચાર કરું કે આટલું મોટું વિજ્ઞાન આટલું મોટું સાયન્સ જ્યારે આગળ દોડતું ગયું છે ત્યારે આ બધો જ યસ એ અને આવા રૂરલ વિસ્તારની અંદર એટલે બહુ મોટું કામ છે સેવાનું કે આવા વિસ્તારની અંદર ડોક્ટર વિક્રમભાઈ પટેલે સમગ્ર જીવન સેવાની અંદર મૂકી દીધું અને અનુબેનના એક શબ્દ ઉપર એમણે સેવાનો આગો માર્ગ પકડ્યો અને એની સાથે સાથે આપણે સૌ એમની જોડે જોડાયા આ મશીન દ્વારા અનેક પેશન્ટોને ખૂબ લાભ હું તો ઘણી વાર કહું કે પહેલું તો કેન્સર ના થાય એવું આપણું જીવન હોવું જોઈએ કે આપણને દર્દ ના થવું જોઈએ શરીર છે એનું કામ કરે છે શરીરને ધર્મ બંને સાથે નથી છતાંય શરીર એનું કામ કરે પણ આપણું હરવા ફરવાનું આપણું રહેવા કરવાનું આપણો ખોરાક એને ઉપર લઈને ઘણું બધું કામ આપણું શરીર કરતું હોય છે તો એ ના થાય એના માટે સંતોના આશીર્વાદ એ બહુ જરૂરી છે અને એની આગળ જ્યારે આવું કાર્ય આવું કામ થાય ત્યારે આવા ડોક્ટરશ્રીઓ દ્વારા આવી સંસ્થાઓ દ્વારા આવા મશીનો આપણને પ્રાપ્ત થાય અને પેશન્ટને સીધી જ એને સારામાં સારો અદ્યતન સુવિધા પ્રાપ્ત થાય એવી એક પ્રયત્ન ડોક્ટર વિક્રમભાઈ પટેલે કર્યો આપણે સૌ એની અંદર જે કંઈ તન મંથનથી સેવા કરીએ છીએ એ એક ભગવાનની સેવા છે એ નાતેથી આપણે સંપત્તિ એ જે મૂકી છે એ સંપત્તિ વધતી જાય અને આવા સત્કર્મોમાં વપરાય એવી દાતાઓ પાસે પણ અપેક્ષા રાખું આપ સૌને મારા જય મહારાજ ધન્યવાદ મહારાજજી વાઇલ વી વેટ ફોર અવર ચીફ ગેસ્ટ સેવરલ ઇન્ડિવિજ્યુઅલ સેન્ટર્સ હેવ એડેડ એન્ડ હેલ્પ ધ ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યૂટ નાવ એન્ડ દેન ઇટ ગીવ્સ મી પ્લેઝર ટુ અનાઉન્સ દેટ જે વી ગોકલ ચેરિટી ટ્રસ્ટ has donated to KCHRC a mobile van and a dialysis unit to which the institute is very grateful JV Gokal Charity Trust is a not for profit public charitable trust and it reaches out to the underprivileged and needy communities by provide providing them educational opportunities and access to basic health care its ceo 
Dr. Vasave is with us today, Dr. Ullas Vasave. He is working as the CEO of this trust and he is an active part of Eurasian Federation of Oncology also. Dr. Ullas channelizes his energy towards helping underprivileged by use of his knowledge in the field of public health. He is involved in conceptualizing, planning, designing and implementation of community health care projects. I request Dr. Rajesh Kantharia to felicitate him with a shawl. I request Dr. Ullas Wasave to present and do the needful to our chairperson Dr. Vikrambai Patel and Dr. Rajesh Kantharia, Medical Director of KCHRC. <laughs> the Institute wishes to provide a certificate of, of, of appreciation for the work done by the trust. The cyclotron facility is open for visits today. I request all of you to have a look at the facility. May I request Dr. Vikrambai Patel, our chairperson, to deliver the vote of thanks. Sarvanamara Jasikrasna. <coughs> Respected Ganesh Dasi Maharaj. Consul General Mr. Peter. Bruno Skatnev, FX. Dr. Ullas. Dr. Soma. And Asans, all well wishers and donors and inmates of ashram. When I look back to thank the people who have helped in bringing up this facility to see daylight, it's endless list. When we get involved in such projects, only then we realize that it is beyond our capacity and control to establish any good thing unless we are supported by society by and large. The seed of this cyclotron was sown to Munise Asram by one of our nuclear physician, Dr. Manas Mayank, when he was with us as full-time nuclear physician. That used to tell me that Vikram Bhai, if we have this cyclotron, we can do much more than what we are doing today and at much lesser cost. And at that time I knew only one thing, cyclotron is a proton accelerator, that's it, nothing more than that. But it was nurtured and given the boost by our well-wishers and friends and donors. And then we came up with this facility. and. Uh, he rightly said, this is the first ever facility in a rural part of anywhere in the world. Because all these facilities are very highly technical. They require a lot of technical support. And it is just next to possible 
to bring is this facility in a rural area where we have to depend upon so many technical people and supply chains and logistic support and everything but after nine long years it has shown the daylight initially when we started the project we were supported by two other partners one from iba india also for some reasons after two years that partnership broke and uh, this much costly project was very difficult to achieve by ourselves i also take this opportunity to thank the government of belgium seeing our charitable nature and social service they gave us a grant of 600000 euro for this project they are nothing to gain but they decided that yes their dignitaries from their government also visited us they saw the environment they saw everything and they said okay vikram we'll give you 600000 euro as grant so you can buy the equipment and that made it possible for us to purchase the equipment i would also like to thank the iba they also reduced from their list price 800000 euros so in practice we got our equipment at almost 40% of the cost which otherwise one would get and uh, apart from that iba staff has become our regular donor now almost every year they collect some funds from their own pocket and they send to munisha so i am really grateful and thank you <laughs> then came all the hassles of making a plan for the building and you know it's very complicated building our architect vikram vikram kavlanekar and his team they really got mad to understand what is this all going on because they were making plans for our other buildings but this is something not they have seen ever or they have done ever then came the problem of this door as dr karkare told this is the first unique design of maze where we have reduced our door weight to 500 kg only all other doors in all other cyclotrons are weighing 22 ton and they are to be operated by only mechanics and electronics and once electronic or mechanic goes wrong then you are stuck because it is a working facility no crane can come inside so dr karkare told me in the beginning that vikram don't go for this plug door i'll give you a design for maze design and even uh, initially ib was not ready to accept it frankly they are told that this is our standard design if you do something it's your responsibility will not be held responsible but karkar was confident enough we got it approved by our brc atomic energy controlling body and at the end of the day we have seen this facility dr karkar i am thankful to you <clears throat> of course this is a high end facility to run it you require a very well trained experienced physicist also so here i would like to remember my friend and colleague dr mohite he was working in delhi metro getting good amount of salary and once he came here he saw the facility he saw us working and he said vikram bhai i am your disciple i'll come here whatever it takes for me so whenever you plan cyclotron i'll be here so when we opened our lc for cyclotron second day he came here and joined us that he told that i'll take care of everything vikram bhai don't worry so during building the building and facility creation he was all the time here he has not seen to his family also many times but i am thankful to mohit also for bringing this facility to the light <coughs> and of course every facility <laughs> requires some money so all our donors and well wishers some may not understand what i am doing but they had faith in muni seva sam and my he may go to europe america or if not happening then he goes home and sits down that's it then when we started this hospital anuban told me vikram make a hospital where i can take my treatment 
we are not <coughs> hypocrites that we go to elsewhere to take our treatment and ask others to come here and take the treatment. So that was our motto always and that's why we want to tribute her on every occasion, either her birthday or anniversary. If we can add something to the society, we feel privileged and obliged. So today on her birthday, we are giving to society something. We are just calculating the number of pets. Our engineering team, because they are also building the first time the cyclotron building. So there are many ifs and buts and yes and nos. They make something, then we scrutinize, we get some instruction from Belgium IBA, and they say, oh, this is not okay. Then we have to again rebuild, break it. But at the end of the day, they have come up with facility that even IBA will be proud that their cyclotron is working here. <coughs> so on this, if Anubhan had been alive, it would be her 74th birthday. Of course, spiritually, many feel, and I also sometimes feel her presence sometimes, physically so, though she is not with us. But I pray my tribute, tribute to her. I thank you all for your presence time and everything and hopeful of your such support in future also. Uh, our chief guest Dr. Janti Ravi may come any time, I don't know but 